Hi guys, it's me Nicole. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to connect the granny squares that I used to make this awesome crocheted fringe top. For my tutorial, I used different colors than the ones that I used in my photo shoot. And I made a nice little fall theme color. The colors, the colors that I used are this beige Natura brand yarn. Then this nice rust color by Orlan, a light brown, and a cream, which is what I will be using right now. This is called Fisherman. Again, the yarn that I used is all vintage yarn that I found at a thrift store, so you might not be able to find the exact colors that I used. The first thing that you want to do is line up your five granny squares in this M shape, like you can see. And we're just gonna start by individually stitching them together. So I'm just gonna take two squares, I'll start with these two, and you're going to flip them over so that the good sides touch each other and just stretch them out and line them up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my crochet hook and the same color that I used for step four or the outside of the granny square and I'm just going to start single crocheting all along the edge and I'm just going to attach this really quick and I won't count that as my first single crochet so I'm going to do one if I can get it through one and two right into the big opening then as soon as I have done two there you're going to go into the first single crochets, both of them, on each granny square, and just single crochet through that. So I'm going to do that again into the next one, single crochet, all the way down the line. And all of the loops that you're poking into should match up. So I'm just going to continue that. It's a little tricky, sometimes you get caught up, you just have to work your needle through there. All the way down. And once you get to the end, again, you're going to do two single crochets into the last big loops. One, two, and then we are going to start connecting our next square. So I'm going to grab this one and it gets connected to this edge, so I'm going to flip it over like this. And I'm just going to start single crocheting down this way. So I'm going to stick my hook. Got to find my yarn. Stick my hook in there and do two single crochets into the big loop. And again, find my holes and just match up and single crochet all the way down. Then you can pretty much just... You can cut your string and start over for each square, but you do the same exact thing to connect all of the squares. So I'm going to continue that and then I'll be back. Well, I finished attaching all of my granny squares into that M shape, and now what I'm gonna do is just single crochet around my entire work. So at these big loops, you're going to single crochet four inside of it and and when they are connected on the sides, you're just going to do two. So I'm going to start out with two. 
single crochets two and then go ahead and go into all of the top stitches and single crochet around the whole piece I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this until I've gotten all the way around it so I'm gonna finish that and I'll be right back with the next step now I'm just finishing up my single crochets around the whole edge of my work and once I'm done with that, I'm going to do a quick slip stitch into where I started. And then I'm going to go ahead and chain two. Actually, I'm going to chain three right here. Now we're going to start doing double crochets all across, but we're actually skipping one. So I'm going to do a double crochet into not the next loop, but I'm going to skip one and go into the third. Then chain one skip one, go into the next one, and keep following that pattern all the way around except for when you reach the points that there are going to be a strap. So I'm just getting to where the straps are, right at the top point, again skipping every other stitch. Make sure you're chaining one so that you get these nice squares. Alright, so now I am just about at the top. I think I'm going to do one more. And now I'm going to start making my strap. And again for that you just make a lot of chains as long as you want. I do like probably 60 or 70 I like really long straps. I'm going to go ahead and chain Chaining, keep chaining. Till it's the length that you want. I'm gonna go a little longer. Alright, now I think that's a good length. I'm gonna go ahead and start doubling back around. Again, to do that, you stick right into this the chain and we're just going to slip stitch all the way down just to make it a little thicker. Not single crocheting, just slip stitching all the way down. I'm going to continue that and continue my double crochets all around and then I'm going to show you how to add the fringe at the bottom once it's done and I'm actually going to show you how to do that on the top that I already have finished just to save a little bit of time so again, once you finish this strap, this strap, you're just going to go ahead and single crochet or double crochet with your nice little skipped stitch so that you have those nice squares all the way around, but making a strap at the top two points and then the other points that we're going to make straps are at this corner and this corner. So the four top corners, one, two, three, four. Then this bottom part is going to have the double crochets just like this and then that's what we're going to add the fringe to and we're actually going to add fringe to every other box so that's spaced out a little bit. I'm going to show you guys how to add the fringe now. All I do is cut about 10 inches of yarn and I double it up so that I have two strands. So two strands that are about 10 inches and then all you're going to do is fold them in half so that you have a loop like this and I'm going to find the hole that I am or the square that I'm putting my fringe onto in this case I skipped every other one so I'm just missing a tassel right here I'm actually gonna flip my piece around so that I'm kinda looking at the uglier side and I'm going to stick my crochet hook into that loop grab a hold of this loop I'm gonna pull th through just like that then I like to use my fingers and kind of widen up this hole a little bit then you're just going to grab the tassels 
you can pull your hook out and just pull the fringe tight and you're left with this beautiful crocheted top with awesome fringe it looks super good i had my friend bridget model it today in our photo shoot i hope you guys love this tutorial once i'm done with the fall colored one i'll have some pictures up of that one as well thanks guys and have fun trying this out